a more profound question in connection with this, you know, sort of drift to tastelessness is the extent to which wheat has been bred so taste is entirely secondary uh, to its current uh, grown condition, to the harvestables, productivity, disease resistance, heat tolerance, and its processability. Given the signal importance of grain taste over history, the uh, reduction of wheat to tastelessness, or relative tastelessness, may be the single most distressing development industrial food modernist. One of the things that I would think of is that a more intensive study of the flavor of land-raised grains should be undertaken as part of a cultural recovery uh, of a standard of long-term human nutrition. And I think that it's the exploration that is most easily financed uh, because of the intense interest of brewers and distillers in the finding. That is, land-raised corns and land-raised wheats, people will front money to get to the old flavors. I think that human beings for much of their history recognize what the taste of wholesomeness and nutrition was. They crafted their brains in order to do that. One of the problems is we process the grains too much.